Hello everyone and welcome to Friday's Math. So uh, this week we've started a new unit of addition and subtraction. Now when we're in the classroom we do maths four times a week don't we and then we always use Friday to recap our learning so that's exactly what we're going to do today. So there are five questions I believe and a couple of challenge questions at the end. So it's all things that we've done already this week so I'm just going to explain the question and I'd like you to pause the video have a go then I'll quickly talk through it and then we'll move on to the next one in case I'm not teaching you anything new today we're just reviewing the learning that we've already completed this week. Okay so question one we're starting off with what we did on Monday, you can think that far back ahead, back, not back ahead, think how, that far back. So we've got um, adding by counting on. So we've got three sentences with missing numbers and then we've got the what is the number sentence question at the end. Okay, so first there was something and something more were added. Now there are something and what is the number sentence. Okay, so pause the video now and have a go at that one. Brilliant. Okay, so hopefully you have got first there were five, you can see there are five counters in that first in this room. Then two more were added, one, two, the two blue ones. Now there are, well, we're not going to count them all together. We already know that we've got five. I'm gonna put the five in our heads, we're gonna count on from five, six, seven, brilliant. And then we know that this is our part, this is our other part, and this is our whole. So our number sentence is five, add two equals seven. Super, question one, done. Right, question two. Okay, so another one I'm adding by counting on this time using a number line. Okay, so it says John starts on 15 and he counts on four. Where does he land? And I'm just going to delete that because that's not even a little bit right, is it? Brilliant, okay, so John starts on 15, he counts on four. Where does he land? Okay, and what's the number sentence? So pause the video and have a go at that one now. Fantastic, okay, so he starts on the number 15 and he counts on four. Are you ready to count with me? One, two, three, four. What has he landed on? 19. So what's our number sentence? Our number sentence is 15. Add need to do it so I've got one in per box. 15 add 4 equals 19. Brilliant. Okay, right, let's move on. Question number three. We're thinking about those number bonds to 20. So remember, there are three questions here of missing numbers. Remember, we can use our number bonds to 10 to help us with our number bonds to 20. So if you look at that second number, if you look at that ones number, it will help you to find out what you add. So all you need to think about is what you add to those numbers to get 10. That's gonna be the same number you add to get to 20. Okay, so 13 add what gives you 20. We'll use that ones and we use the three to help you. See if you could complete those three number sentences. Pause the video now and have a go at that. Fantastic, okay, so 13 is one, 10 and three ones. So when we've got three ones and we'd like to get to 10, what do we add? We add seven. So when we've got one, 10 and three ones, we add seven to get to 20, fantastic. If we've got four ones, we want to get to 10, what do we add? We add six. So if we've got one, 10 and four ones, we add six to get to 20. And finally, we've got 15. One, ten, and five ones. If we've got five ones and we want to get to ten, what do we add? We add five. So if we want to add to fifteen to get twenty, we add the number five. Brilliant. Okay, question four. One of these tricky ones from last from um what day did we do this? I think Wednesday we had a go at this one. So I want to find out the answer to seven out of four, but to make it easier for myself, I want to make 10 first of all. So I want to have these two numbers here in this blue circle adding up to 10. So I'm gonna start you off by putting in number sentence of finding out the answer to. So we want to find out in this box what we add to seven to give us this 10 here. Remember this number, this num these numbers here add up to this number, so add up to 10. And then we want to find out what else we add to this number here to get four, 
which we then add to this number to find out the answer. It's a bit of a tricky one, but I'd like you to see if you can have a go on your own and then we can talk through it together. So pause the video now and have a go at that one. Fantastic, okay, what do we add to seven to get to 10? We add three, don't we? So if we use our number line to check, we start on seven. We do one, two, three. I've got to 10, add three. Okay, so I'm gonna pop that three in this box. So can you see now, the, oh, that's not three, is it? Can you see now that the seven and the three are the same as this number here that gives us 10? Now we've got one part of four, we've put one partition four into two number, we've got one part which is three. I'm gonna put that three in our head, we're gonna count on till we get to four and see what our other part is. Okay, so three, in your head, ready, count on three, four. Oh, just the one. So three and one makes four. So now we can add this number here, this one, to our ten. And we know that one ten and one one gives us the number. One ten, one one gives us the number eleven. So seven add four equals eleven. Okay, and you can always use the number line to double check. So 10, add that one. There we go, we've landed on number 11. Okay, so it's really important that we get this one because it'll help us a lot more. When we come to add bigger numbers, it'll really help us to work out what the answer is. Okay, so keep practicing that one if you're still not 100% sure. Right, question number five. We're thinking about some subtraction now, which is what we thought about yesterday, didn't we? So the question is asking you to write the number sentence shown by the tens frames. So you're thinking about finding out the whole number, finding out how many you've taken away and what is the answer. Okay, so pause the video and have a go at writing the number sentence that is shown by the tens frame. Fantastic, so we've got what number all together. Well, we've got 10 here. We can pop that straight in our head. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We've got 15 there. And we want to take away now. We've got to flip our mind to taking away now. How many have we crossed off? Well, we've crossed off one, two, three. So 15 take away three equals. But how many have we got left? Well, we want to pop that 10 in our head again, ready, 10, 11, 12. Fantastic. 15, take away three, equals 12. Super. Okay, so there are five questions recapping what we did uh, in this week. Now there are two maths challenge questions. So these are reasoning questions, so question six and question seven. So if you'd like to complete these ones, you'll need to pause the video to do it, to have a read of them. I'll just read through them now. So question six is Dexter uses tens frames to calculate eight plus six. He says that eight add six equals 16. Do you agree and explain why? So this is the important bit, explain why. So you need to have a think about what he said. And if you agree with him, you need to tell me why you agree with him. If you don't agree with him, you need to tell me why you don't agree with him. And question seven, Annie, Tommy and Alex are working out which calculation is represented below because I know there's a splodge on the then part of their table. Can you work out who is correct? And again, explain why. So you might need to get an adult to help you with that one and that's absolutely fine if that's what you want to do. Okay, so this is your maths challenge if you feel like you're up for it. So if you're going to do that, you need to pause the video and I will see you all very soon. Bye everybody.